Drill Talk, Drill Talk, episode 55. In this episode, we're going to discuss the top four benefits to finding a peer. This is based on a blog I wrote in the past entitled Finding Someone on Your Level. The benefit of finding someone on your level is just astronomical. You are finding someone along your path, like wherever you may be headed, and it's a lot easier to find them than maybe finding a mentor or finding someone to be a mentee of yours. Um, this is something that is a necessity, I would say, because it keeps you sane. It keeps you going and it gives you the ability to reuse what you've learned in the future. So sit back, relax. Let's have a couple of ah moments. And hopefully you learn something. Let's go. Drills Talk, Drills Talk, episode 55. In this episode, we're going to discuss the top four benefits to finding a peer. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, comment if you would like to comment, show your love however you would like to show your love. Every Monday here, we have a new blog. Every Wednesday, a new Drills Talk, new vlog. Every Friday is a new instrumental beat produced by me. For those who don't know, I am a music producer, writer, rapper, all that great stuff. Um, Please, you know, Follow us, hang out with us, see what's going on, check in on me every now and then. I do appreciate it. Let's get started. Number one. Number one is it opens your eyes because you have to seek this person out, but you know that it shouldn't be very hard, right? I'm telling you that it's something very easy. So how does it open your eyes? You realize that there's a lot of people walking amongst you that are on your level. So think about your coworkers easily on your level, correct? Uh, the people who live in your neighborhood. It's not a huge chance someone lives in your neighborhood and they're like light years ahead of you in life. I'm not talking age, I'm talking, you know, as far as where you are financially or where you are uh, career-wise. So these people are all around you. Very easy to go out there and say, hey, let's go to lunch, let's chop it up. Maybe someone who you went to college with, you guys are, you know, maybe five years out or 10 years out or 20 years out. And you say, okay, well, this person had a good head on their shoulders. Then they're probably about where I am now. Let's see if I can link up with them and maybe we can help each other out. Perfect. All of that works. Whoever you're going to contact, whoever you think will be close to where you are is what we're looking for here. We're not looking for where we want to be. We're not looking for where we were. We're looking for somebody who's about even about where we are and and have some aspirations and some work ethic to where they're not going to pull us back. That's what we're looking for. Opens your eyes and saying, okay, I found this person. Now what do I do? Well, what you do is you just make it organic. You chop it up. What's going on? Well, this is what I have going on in my life. Oh, well, this is what I have going on in my life. Okay, cool. I'm aspiring to do this next. What's your next move? And now you guys have something to talk about. Okay, well, that seems like is a lot in minds is a lot. Okay, well, we'll probably need some sort of outside of our own home support. How about we support each other? Why not? You don't think that they need support also? You don't think that they need someone to talk to, maybe other than a spouse or, or someone in their home or, or maybe a parent that they've been talking to? Something different, a new voice, a new you know, person to talk to, maybe a different background or a, a different way of life. Maybe the person you're meeting is like the exact opposite of you outside of aspirations in professional life. But as far as, you know, being goal getters and wanting to do things and on the right track in life, they are. Perfect. That's who you want to hear. That's who you want to talk to and bounce ideas off of and say, hey, you know, this is what I'm doing now. Yeah, I got that going on with me, too. What are you doing? Because this is what I tried. And now you guys can help each other go through this, this issue. And it's going to be a period of time. We don't know how long this is going to happen, but we're not going in it thinking about the end. We're going in it thinking about how we can help each other. So open your eyes and find that person. Number two. Number two is it puts you at ease. Think about how you are around a person who you think is doing a little better than you or a person who is an authoritative figure like a manager or the owner of a company you work for or you know something somebody you see as 
above you, you're not really at ease. Now, with a person who you feel is a peer, you are. So you're a little more informal. You're a little more apt to asking a question that maybe you'll hold in if you were talking to somebody that may judge, you think. This is a perfect perk because now you can chill. You can go have a beer or you can go and you know have a meal and just relax and say, this is what's on my mind. What's on your mind? And, and you know, there's no judgment there. You both on the same level. No one's doing astronomically better than the other person. You both are kind of like this. And that works because now you don't feel bad about any of your issues. And you don't feel bad about, you know, any of your success because this person is slowly getting success also. It's just an ease that you don't have with a person that is maybe doing better than you or a person that's doing a lot worse than you because you don't want to say the wrong thing. You don't want to scare them away from what they're about to encounter. You don't want to seem like you're bragging to the person that's doing worse than you and the person that's doing better. You don't want to seem like your issue, even though it may be a big issue to you at the time, is huge because you know that there are bigger issues to come. So being at ease with this person is awesome. It's a huge benefit, huge perk. Don't be afraid. Number three. Number three is the time spent lasts forever. So whenever you go through this, you may meet this person in college and, you know, you guys are saying, hey, well, I'm an English major and you're a, you know, business major or whatever. But, you know, we're both from such and such and we're going to go through this together. And you have that bond forever. And understand that, yes, people do grow apart. Some people may take off faster than others, and that bond may not be as tight. It's a temporary thing. But understand that that bond, that time spent, is forever. Those memories of, hey, remember when we thought we were going to flunk out and we didn't, we stuck together, we made sure each other were going to study, and we made sure that we missed a couple of parties because we knew we needed that extra book time. Hey, remember when, you know, we were both out of shape about five years out of college and we met at the gym and we said that we'll keep, you know, keep each other accountable and we're going to stay in shape. Yeah, man. And then, you you know, you had to go off because you got married and everything. Yeah. I, yeah, that's cool. But I remember and I stayed working out. And y'all had that bond forever. Y'all got each other back. Or y'all kept each other straight. And that never goes away. That's a phone call away of reminiscing and feeling good. And maybe every now and then getting together for a drink or some dinner. Perfectly fine. But understand that this time, although it's not permanent, it is forever. You're not wasting your time. You're helping yourself. You're giving yourself good times and you know good memories. So go for it. Number four. Number four is it helps finding another. I just mentioned that this is temporary. Um, people do move and, you know, people go faster and who knows how long this bond is going to be, but enjoy it while it lasts. But you also understand that I know the benefit of going out and finding someone on my level. Okay, maybe this person is not on my level anymore. Maybe I, you know, accelerated way past them or maybe they accelerated way past me. But I know the benefit of finding another person on my level. It can be another associate, um, you know, that I'm going to gain. Or it can be someone who's going to, you know, turn into a long term friendship. You never know. But don't go into it thinking that it's going to be long term. Go into it thinking that it's going to be ultra beneficial for both of you. And then there's no pressure on how long it lasts. And there's no no issue knowing that, hey, I knew this was going to kind of be temporary. No big deal, because you know that I know what I did to find this other person. So I can find another person and I'm open to, you know, going through everything I just went through because I know the benefit of that. I'm going to be tight with this person over here forever. I wish them the best. But I know I can meet another person that's on my level and get through this next stage, this next step of life, just like I did the last step. Drills Talk, episode 55. This is the top four benefits of finding a peer. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. It's Drills.com. Check this out. It's drills.